just a small sampling of some of the jokers I've got. Do you have a souvenir yet? Oh, who's, you don't have a souvenir. You should get a souvenir. Who else? Do you have a souvenir? Oh, you should have a souvenir. Here, have a souvenir joker. And you might think, oh, what's the big deal? Souvenir joker. Shut up. No, <laughs> oh, because now, now it gets weird. You want to see the weird part? Here, you take the green pen, you get the purple pen, and what kind of joker did you get? It's tally-ho, tally-ho blue circle. That's very popular on the East Coast, tally-ho blue circle. And what was yours? I think it's a bicycle. It's a bicycle. bicycle. Yeah, bicycle rider back. This is very, very popular on the West Coast. Go to Long's Drug Store, you know, you find them. Costco, <laughs> very easy to get. So this trick will not work. It's a trick, and it won't work if the cards are face up. It will not work if they're both face down. They have to be facing in opposite directions. It has something to do with maintaining cosmic balance. That's all I can say. <laughs> I can say no more. Would you do me a favor? You have the purple pen. Uh, take the cap off and put some kind of identifying mark on the bottom half of the back of the joker. Just anything at all, like a pin number. Keep the cap off because I'm going to come back to you in a minute. Would you do the same thing? Put some kind of identifying mark on the bottom part of the joker. It could be, yeah, that's a, oh, that's good. And no, no, keep the cap off because I want you to do the same thing on the opposite side. Do it here. I turn it over end for end, just a scribble. And after you've done that, now put the cap back on the pen. Would you do the same thing? Put some kind of a scribble on the bottom part of the joker and then put the cap back on. That's perfect. Now you've got to put the cap on and click it. My six-year-old daughter taught me this. If you don't hear a click, it's going to get sick. <laughs> it'll dry out, exactly. That's right. That's right. Man, you're quick. I tell you. I know. What do you mean? It's going to get sick. Pen's going to get sick. Oh, dry out, right. Okay, now this is it. Both sides of both cards have been marked on both ends. That's important. Because what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to send these two cards from Hollywood, California, all the way to the fourth dimension. And to do this, I need to make three cuts. The first two cuts are not really important. Third cut is extremely important. It has to be as close to the middle as possible. That's good. This is going to work out great. Good. Watch closely. <laughs> really, don't take your eyes off of these cards. This is going to be strange. Right now, the cards are on their way. If I untwist it, that's a kind of a good start. It looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It's a good start. But here's where it gets even more bizarre. I'm going to twist the cards by turning them both together, watch closely, clockwise. See, that's what makes it work. Turning them clockwise, one card is actually passing through the other. See? On both sides, of course. The trick is to switch the corners here, the outer two corners and the inner two corners. Now I can continue the twist. Isn't that weird? Now, right now, the cards are not really here. Right now, both cards are in the fourth dimension. And most magicians that know this, and there's really only a handful in the world, they would stop right now. That's all they know. I can go you want to see something else? Yeah. You want to go yes. further? Yes. Should we continue? Yes. 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 I agree. Let's go. Here's where it gets weird. If I twist it and switch the corners back, but in the opposite order <laughs> and in the opposite direction, something very strange happens. Cards come back to Hollywood, California, but they come back in a very strangely altered state. If I peel them apart, you'll notice now this card has a back <laughs> on both sides. And if you look very closely, you'll see that it actually has the identifying marks on the top and the bottom ends. That's why we have to do it on opposite ends. The same with this. This has a face on both sides with the identifying marks. And I personally think that these make absolutely fascinating souvenir items. So I've taken the liberty of bringing some business cards with me that just happen to be playing card <laughs> sized and shaped. So I'm going to staple them on like this. And is it just me, or does that make an absolutely lovely display? Oh. <laughs>